Hello everyone, welcome to Flower Mound Town Matters. I'm Kaylin Clement, thanks for joining us. Veterans Day is coming up and town staff members are busy planning its second Veterans Day Relay Run, which will take place on November 11th. The 27.3 mile course will traverse throughout the town and the relay will travel the course two times. Each relay runner will travel about two miles, carrying the American flag in tribute to our nation's veterans and their service to this country. The course will start and end at the Community Activity Center. Veterans and members of the public are encouraged to attend. Thanks to a $400,000 Texas Parks and Wildlife Outdoor Recreation Grant, the Town of Flower Mound will be able to add a few more wish list items to the planned Twin Coves Park upgrades scheduled to begin this fall. In November, crews will begin construction on 19 furnished cabins, 18 RV slips, and a variety of other amenities, including a fishing pier, disc golf course, and playground, among other things. However, before construction can begin, crews will need to clean up Twin Coves Park, which was largely underwater and closed to the public since May's historic rains. The flooding damaged the park's electrical system, fire pits left behind major debris, and killed roughly 40 trees. In fact, park employees weren't even able to access the park until late August to begin assessing the damage caused by the flooding. Twin Coves Park will remain closed until cleanup and construction is complete. Residents can look forward to the new and improved Twin Coves Park reopening in the fall of 2016. The town's 12th annual Dorothy's Dash 5K is set for Saturday, November 14th at Flower Mound High School. Registration is now open for all races. This includes the Kids K, the 5K, and group registration for 10 or more participants. Registration information, race routes, volunteer opportunities, and much more can be found online at www.flower-mound.com slash Dorothy's Dash. This event honors former town employee Dorothy Walkup, who lost her battle with multiple sclerosis in 2004. All funds raised will benefit the Lone Star Chapter of the Multiple Sclerosis Society in honor of Ms. Walkup. Several new businesses are now calling Parker Square home. In fact, since July 6th, Seven new businesses have opened or will soon open in Parker Square, occupying over 79,000 square feet of space within the development. These new businesses include two medical practices, a barber shop, a realty office, investment group, art studio, and a charter school. Parker Square is also the potential home of the Flower Mound Entrepreneurial Center, which is currently under consideration. If you'd like more information on town projects, road construction, events, and more, visit the town's website at www.flower-mound.com. Also, stay connected to everything Flower Mound by liking our Facebook page and following us on Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe to the town's YouTube channel as well to catch all the latest town-produced videos. Or if social media isn't for you, sign up for eTown. It's a monthly electronic newsletter delivered straight to your email inbox. You're watching Town Matters, a presentation of the Community Affairs Division. I'm Kaylin Clement. Thanks so much for joining us.